Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, how's it going? Doing great. How about you? I'm excited about today's show, Always. and we're going to talk about something that I think is going to be on people's minds uh, right around this time of year, Yeah, and that is melanotan. Melanotan 2. Melanotan 2. So tell me what that is. Uh, so it's just a, a, it's a type of peptide that is an injectable peptide to help get you Tan is okay. the name melana tan. So it's a peptide injection. It acts on the melanocytes in your skin, um, which are the cells that cause you to have a tan. So the way that this works, it's awesome. Um, it creates a safe, natural, and a protective tan. So you take a injection subcutaneous, you give yourself a shot at home, sub-Q shot um, every day for generally about two weeks, and then you space out to maintenance dosing after that. Is this a, is this a permanent tan or is this something that is like a, for, you know, a certain amount of time? Certain amount of time. Okay. Um, so it's wonderful for pale people like me, um, Fitzgerald skin type one and two, which are people who tend okay. to burn pretty easily. You can actually do this injection. And then when you get sun exposure, instead of having that instant burn that so many of us do, it pushes those melanocytes to the surface faster and you get this nice, natural, even tan and it protects you from getting a burn. So the melanocytes, these are the cells that cause you to have a tan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the peptide, because you've told us before in, in uh, other episodes about peptides, yeah. that every peptide has a specific uh, purpose. Yes. So the purpose of this is to push the melanocytes up towards the surface? It stimulates the melanocytes. Okay. So that when, and I mean, you can to a small regard get a tan just from doing the injections. Like you get a little bit darker, but you get your tan from doing your injections and then being exposed to the sun Got or it. to a tanning bed. Got it. And you produce this almost instant tan. It's amazing um, from very little sun exposure. When, so, you, when you say instant, uh, so I say, say I, I get this peptide and mm -hmm. then I go to the beach. It, it's just like a tan would be like if I go yeah. out and I'm going to notice a huge difference. But instead of needing to be out for three hours to get a nice tan, you're out for like 20 minutes and you've already got tan lines. Like it accelerates how you tan. So I've taken it before, which is why I love it. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm probably a Fitzgerald too. Like I can tan, but I've got to try really hard at it, but I 100% can burn like that. Now, um, are there any downsides as far as like, cause sometimes you can be out in the sun too much. Right. Could cause wrinkly skin right. maybe. Um, so this actually is getting that photo protection cause that's what the melanocytes do for you. So you're actually helping protect the skin to a regard. Now I am not, am not encouraging just go lay out, go to the tanning bed all the time. Um, but it actually is helping to protect the skin to a regard. Huh. Now, People who are not great candidates, if you have a personal or family history of melanoma, you're not a great candidate because this could stimulate the growth of a melanoma if it was there. Um, so, you, I mean, within reason, you've got to be careful. Uh, but they're actually researching it in some countries for um, skin cancer prevention. That's because interesting. Because it helps. I mean, you're getting the melanocytes up. You're helping protect the skin. So melanocytes are a good thing. Mm -hmm. They're a good thing. It's your skin's protection. That's the way that, that the body's trying to protect itself when you're in UV rays. And each, uh, just depending on genetics, everyone mm -hmm. has different amounts of melanocytes or they're just deeper down. Right. Yeah. And so the the people that it works really well for are the ones that are more pale, I the ones it. we've got to work hard and we're more likely to get burned because taking the melanotin, uh, that entire summer, I never burned. Really? Never once had a single sunburn. Now, when you say you took it, how, like, what, what was your protocol? Were you doing this like, you know, one shot a week? What, what, what's it so like? the typical dosing is you start out, um, I think it's 0.15 based on the concentration that we normally use. So you start out with an everyday dose for about two to three weeks. Okay. And then just as needed maintenance dosing after that. Honestly, I probably did the two to three weeks. And then once I used that vial off, I, I just, I just quit, uh, but I maintained that tan through the entire summer and into the fall. That's fast. Just from, you know, I'd be out in the sun one, one or two yeah. days a week. Yeah. And so you get this, this tan that just, it doesn't go away. 
It was pretty awesome. So again, never had a single sunburn that summer. And I could be in the sun for 20 to 30 minutes and have tan lines where normally it would take me an entire day and like lots of sunscreen to get that kind of tan without having a burn. That's amazing. So it is a... um, beneficial thing for people who are good candidates for it. When you're really pale skinned and you're worried about getting a sunburn all the time, it actually can help protect against that. Um, It doesn't give a specific color. It's whatever your natural tan color is. Um, Okay. So, you know, if you're a person that tends to tan a really dark brown, that's what you're going to tan to. Some people, you know, your, your shade of tan just varies based on your skin type. It sounds like it just speeds up the process Mm -hmm. in a more efficient way. Yeah. Without the UV rays having to be so much, you need some but it actually can, you can limit how much time you're spending in the sun to getting the same amount of tan. And, and I, I know we've talked a little bit about skin cancer, but is there a protective component in regards to skin cancer as well? Yeah. I mean, the, uh, some countries are using it, researching it to protect against so You might cancer. not get uh, dark spots or anything like that. That's really fascinating. It's really cool. I mean, besides the vanity side of it, of sure. like, hey, you've got a great tan that you normally can't get any other way, there yeah. are benefits to it too. There are downsides as well. Okay. So it can cause nausea with the injection. Okay. Um, some people get a little bit nauseated afterwards. I never had that issue, but it can happen. Um, you can have a little bit of flushing afterwards. Um, you can get too tan. You do have to stop at some point. Um, if you Google like too much melanotin, there's people who like will literally turn themselves almost purple with it. So, so there, there's a cutoff point. Like yeah. <laughs> that's why you don't do daily dosing long term. You yeah. do enough that you get the color that you want. And then if you need it, you do more injections for maintenance. But honestly, I did. I think I did one or two vials and then I was done and that's fast the color I wanted. So, so is this something that you do just very similar to the way you do BPC 157 or any other peptide? Cycle it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you're you're coming up on the summer yeah. um, come, or coming up to spring now, I guess. Start get, working on a little bit of a tan that way by the summertime. You've got a nice tan. You're not going to be getting burnt. You can be out and enjoy yourself. Still wear sunscreen. Um, but for pale people like me, it's awesome. It's a That's great option. Amazing. <laughs> Melanotan 2, guys. This is the most recent peptide we've talk, <laughs> talked about. Robin, I appreciate you. Absolutely. Guys, you name it, we explain it. As always, we'll be back next time. Don't go away.